Hello and welcome to Organized-ish. My name is Leela and I am all about fast and easy ways to get your home a little more functional. Now, if you're feeling like your house is less tidy than you would like it to be, but you have no idea where to even start, today I wanna to share with you eight things that you can organize that are perfect for the fall season. First up is your closet. Now, after summer passes and it starts to get a little cooler, our clothing changes, right? We wear different things. So now is the perfect time to go through your closet, rearrange things a little bit, pack up your summer clothes that you're not gonna wear if you have a small closet and you're not able to keep it all together, and just rearrange things to where your cooler season things are more accessible and your summer season things are put away. So either on the top shelves, the lower shelves, in some containers, and just make all the things that you're going to be wearing this season front and center. Now I live in the South and we still have some warm weather ahead of us for at least another month. So I will be organizing my closet later on after the temperatures start to cool down, but I'm already thinking about where I'm going to be putting my sweaters and where I'm going to store my shorts. And it just helps to have a plan of what you're going to do, even if it's not really time yet for you. Now is also a time to go through your summer clothes and look at the things that you didn't wear all season long. If you have some things that sat in your closet and were never touched, now is the time to evaluate whether they're worth packing up for an entire winter season and then trying again next summer or if it's time just to donate them and let them go. The next thing you wanna organize in the fall is your freezer. As we start to move towards the holidays and as your garden starts to say goodbye, now is the time that we're going to be adding more and more things into our freezer. So around September, I always recommend to empty out your freezer, give it a good cleaning, get rid of anything that doesn't belong in there and add a few extra containers to organize with, but don't fill it up completely. Make sure you've got extra space that you can move things around and you wanna pick containers that can also be moved around your freezer. Freezer. You don't want to choose things that have to go in one specific place or there's containers all the way lined up filling up the entire freezer so there's no flexibility because when Thanksgiving comes you're gonna have that huge turkey right and around the holidays you're gonna have all these leftovers that you're gonna to want to freeze so you want to make sure that while your freezer is organized you still have enough space to move things around as needed now, speaking of the holidays, the next thing that you wanna organize is your craft supplies. As we get closer to the holidays, you're going to be crafting more than usual, right? And even if you aren't a crafter, you're probably still gonna be doing a little bit of DIY projects sometime between now and November. So now is the time to go through all of your craft supplies, get rid of any markers or paint that's dried up, rearrange everything to where it's more accessible, add a couple of caddies, and see if there's a few staple supplies that you're out of and you need to restock. Around this time, we all get these ideas of all the things that we wanna make before the holiday season to decorate our houses and gift to people. But as soon as we see all of our craft supplies in a huge mess, we just give up and decide not to even do it at all. So now is the time to get it all cleaned up and ready. That way, when the idea strikes, you have a nice tidy space to work in. Number four is your kids' clothes. We just had back to school season and that usually results in buying all new clothes, but we tend to not remove the old clothes, right? We just smoosh it all in there and try to cram the new clothes with the old clothes and we vow to go through it later. Well, now is the time to go through it. I guarantee there's some things in your kids' drawers and closet that either doesn't fit them anymore or it just doesn't suit their style anymore. Pick a weekend day that you don't have anything going on and just have them go through all of their old clothes and try them on, look at them and see if it's something that they even want to keep and try to go ahead and fill up that donation box and get it out of the house on the same weekend. That way those clothes are not just sitting in a corner, they're not piled up waiting for a drop-off day. It's an entire weekend project to get them all tried on, tested, and the ones that aren't gonna stay get out of the house. Number five is to add a command center somewhere in your house. With back to school and all of the sports and events paired with all the upcoming holidays, there's a lot to keep up with and it's really hard to keep a family on the same page. 
So when you add a command center, this is gonna consist of a calendar that everyone can see all the events on so no one can say they forgot. It's right there in their face, but it's also a place for you to store your keys and jackets, backpacks, library books that need to be returned. It's really just the go-to hub of the house for everyone to be able to find what they need, stay organized, and stay in the know. The next thing to organize this fall is your lawn equipment. We're getting closer to the time to where we do our last mowing, we're not doing much gardening, and all of these items are going to be untouched until next spring. So it's the perfect time for you to give all of your tools and equipment a really good cleaning, make any repairs that need to be done, get them winterized, and organize everything so it's all off the floor, easy to access next year, and it's not in your way during winter. I really like wall hanging hooks to store larger equipment and then stackable containers to store your smaller equipment. You can pick up really inexpensive shelves too so you're not having to stack all the containers on top of each other. Each can sit on its own shelf that way each container is accessible without having to down stack the whole thing. It's also a good time to evaluate the amount of lawn equipment that you have. You might have way more than you need or you might be lacking something and at the end of the season you can buy those things a lot cheaper because they're all on clearance. Number seven is to organize your junk drawer. Over the summer we get a little lazy and we just kind of put stuff wherever we can and the junk drawer is probably looking a little messier than it usually does. This is a really easy afternoon project and you can get kids involved in it, especially younger kids. They love to sort out small things. So choose a tray that's gonna fit inside your junk drawer and try to declutter it, take out anything that shouldn't be inside it. And I really wanna challenge you to not think of it as a junk drawer anymore. When you start thinking of this drawer as a utility space, it becomes a storage space for all the little things that you need on a regular basis versus a place where you just shove junk. And if you don't have a junk drawer, you don't get a pass on this one. I know somewhere in your house, you've got some kind of catch-all bin where you just put all the things that are homeless. And I wanna challenge you to try to find a place for all of those things to go, or just to organize that catch-all bin so it becomes a go-to place for you to grab all the things you need and they all have separate compartments inside. And the last thing for you to organize this fall is your linen closet. We're getting closer to the time where we have guests coming and staying with us, as well as changing over our bedding into warmer linens. So go through your linen closet, purge anything that you don't need, all those old ratty towels that you're never gonna use, take them to the animal shelter as a donation, and all of the things that you're going to keep in your linen closet, refold them and stack them neatly in the cabinet so they're easy to find. You can go ultra aesthetic organized with your linen closet, or you can just line everything up. There's no right or wrong way. The goal is just to be able to access everything without it falling on your face when you open the doors. If you're feeling like you're completely overwhelmed with all of the clutter in your house and organizing these eight spaces doesn't even feel like a drop in the bucket, I want to invite you to join in on the next season of the Purge-a-thon. This is something I do on Instagram twice a year, once in the spring and once in the fall. And basically it is five straight days of decluttering and purging. We don't do any organizing at all. The entire goal is just to decrease the amount of things in your house. We make it a really fun game. You're gonna be really surprised at how many things you find because I do things a little different than most other organizers. I kinda of have a fun little method and this is the most popular thing that I do on Instagram. I'll put a link down below for you to get more information, but it's completely free. There's no obligations, nothing you have to sign up for. It's all public. It's really, really fun. And I promise you, once you do it one time, you are gonna come back every single season because it's a mix of that pure adrenaline of seeing how many things are going out of your house that you didn't even know that you owned along with the community of seeing all these other people who are also doing the same thing. It's really inspiring. I cannot wait. This is gonna be the best year and we're gonna have some prizes and some giveaways and a few extra surprises that I'm not gonna share yet. But 
I hope that you join in in the purge-a-thon. I will absolutely make a recap video here as soon as it's over, but it is gonna be so great and I really want you to be there. So make sure you follow me on Instagram. You'll see all the updates in my stories and subscribe to my channel here on YouTube and I will make sure I post all the information here as well. Let me know down in the comments which one of these eight areas you're going to organize first this fall and make sure you turn on notifications because I have some really good organizing and decluttering videos coming that were requested by so many people and I am having so much fun filming them. In the meantime, I am just so grateful that you're here and so happy to hear that you always get new ideas for organizing your home. Remember that nothing needs to be perfect, it just needs to be organized-ish.